Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and in this video we're going to take a look at the hardware of the new Zune HD before we actually turn on the device and look at the software and look at how it compares to the iPod Touch. So to start, a little note on size. As we mentioned in the unboxing, the Zune HD is a very petite device, very lightweight, but how small is it? Well, here it is compared to a standard credit card, quite small, and here it is compared to the iPod Touch again. So definitely smaller than the iPod Touch, obviously bigger than a credit card. So the screen is 3.3 inches diagonal, and again it uses OLED screen technology, which no other media player of this kind has yet. Let's zoom in on the bottom here. Down here we have the Zoom logo, plus one button that will bring you back home to the main screen. And again, we're going to go through all of this in the software tour and other comparison videos. Now what's interesting, if we turn over to the side, is that we see the Zune HD is kind of built in wafers. So there are, there's a black layer, gray layer, and black layer. And this is continued throughout the entire device. It's a really interesting way that they built the device, and it looks quite nice too. This button here brings up the play controls on the screen. So whether you're in internet browsing or the marketplace, this button will always take you back to just a kind of overlay screen where you can adjust the volume and change the track. On the bottom, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack next to the syncing and charging port. What I found odd is that the Zune HD did not come with a wall charger, only a syncing cable, so they kind of require you to plug it into your computer unless you have a converter jack. On the other side, we have nothing. And on the top, we have the power button. And on the back, we have this beautiful brushed metal, although tapping it makes me uh, think that it's not metal actually, and probably plastic, and it probably is, it could be a composite, some sort of mix. Here we have the Zune logo, a serial number, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. So that's it for the hardware tour on the Zune HD. Overall, I think Microsoft did a fantastic job designing a very sleek looking device. In hand, it feels light compared to the iPod Touch, which makes it feel a little bit cheaper. Uh, it, feels, it feels like the Zune HD uses a lot of plastic, whereas the iPod Touch uses a lot of glass and metal. So that's probably why it's, it's a lot more um, kind of lightweight in hand. So we'll be back soon with more coverage on the Zune HD, including comparisons with the iPod Touch and a look at the software. We'll be back soon.